Hey everybody. hey everybody, it's Jillian. So I have to add on more information from last night's mRNA video. And excuse my hair, sorry. <laughs> it's a little crazy, but I don't care. Um, so another way to look at this is if you were just to be exposed to the COVID-19 virus, you'll have a two-fold antibody reaction. When you ex get exposed to a new virus, you will have agonist antibodies that upload the data and that promotes growth. And then your body will induce also antagonist antibodies. Now this is relative to the strength of the virus. Okay, that's why some viruses are very deadly because you won't have enough cells to sustain that biotransformation. So I'm introducing a new word called biotransformation. And biotransformation comes from the strength of the virus uploading the new data to all the cells in the body. And so when you're uploading new data, it also means that the weaker cells, or which is basically, if it's a strong virus, it's all of your body. The weaker cells would have to be then out with the old and in with the new. And that's why when you are exposed to a very strong virus, not only do you have to feed your body, but you also have to be releasing the excess agonist antibodies and the excess antagonist antibodies to allow your body to kind of calibrate and recalibrate and be able to rebuild as fast as it's, you know, repairing, uploading, and biotransforming. Okay? So... Then you bring on the therapeutics. The therapeutics are now taking someone who's been exposed to the COVID-19. And those therapeutics have a specific acid, antigen acid, that then programs your innate and your adaptive immune system to trigger the antibodies that do a search and destroy. And this is why Bill Gates is the head of all of these types of mass therapeutics because he understands viruses. He understands humans are like a computer. They are programmable. Okay. Like I'm going to talk about in my book on what image is. It is, you know, electrical impulses, matter, acids, and gases. And so you can have a virtual image of a computer putting out an image, or you can have an actual physical human image and a virtual image would be missing the ribonucleic acid, but it would hold everything else. Electrical impulses, matters, and I'm sure some kind of gas. And I'm sure some kind of battery acid, but it's a different form. It's not like a human. There really isn't anything living in a computer. But a human is like a computer. If you understand what triggers specific you know, ionic and covalent type of bonding, which is the plus and the minus in the body, you know, that's the sugar is the plus, and then the minus is the salt, and then they have to have a balance. So that way your body's able to adapt to its environment and be able to fluctuate in the universe and, you know, still be relatively whole. So, so now with this new virus in the environment and with the therapeutics, now you are fighting double the antagonistic antibodies that are going to do a search and destroy. And then you have the agonist antibodies trying to promote growth, and it's still usurping energy from your overall body, mind, and spirit. And if you're not actively absorbing at the maximum level the food supply, this is when you see somebody like Dustin Diamond waste away. Like I saw pictures of Dustin Diamond when he was relatively healthy. And then you start seeing the gray hair. You start seeing just he's losing collagen and losing fat in his face. He is like he's aging so aggressively where he looks like an, uh, like an old man, like a feeble old man. Okay, so again, viruses and... The natural reaction to virus is the fact that if it's a very low level virus, it's not going to do too much of that biotransformation. But a very aggressive virus like the COVID-19 is going to do a very major 
like aggressive biotransformation. And that's why people who are very weak are not able to handle that biotransformation. And so then putting the mass therapeutics on top of a very high level aggressive virus, it's going to compound the issue and not only make it worse, but it's going to cause then, yes, a lot more unneeded premature deaths. But hey, you know, they've prepared you guys for it. So anyways, I'll talk to you later, but you needed to know this. All right, bye.